Hi, I'm William Brigham. I'm an adjunct instructor in the subject of addictions here at Palo Alto University. I began my work uh, in the addictions field in the 1970s when, uh, of course, the use of illicit psychoactive active substances was increasing pretty dramatically. Marijuana, obviously, uh, hallucinogens like LSD, mescaline, and others. But it was heroin that I was uh, first interested in uh, dealing with. And when I was a graduate student in social work, along with two other social workers, we were able to get funding to uh, start a residential treatment program for heroin addicts in the Central Valley of California. It's a program that's uh, actually still running now some 40 years later. And the um, the, the problem of heroin addiction was uh, was uh, was growing was fairly widespread in those days uh, in uh, in the Central Valley as well obviously as in large urban areas. Following that, I helped to um, redevelop the methadone maintenance treatment program in San Diego County. Methadone maintenance at that time and for decades afterwards was the primary modality of treatment for treating heroin addiction other than therapeutic communities uh, such as the one we had started in, in uh, Fresno and those that existed in uh, San Francisco, New York, and, and many other urban areas. But uh, methanol maintenance was a um, relatively inexpensive way uh, of treating uh, heroin addicts, controversial, and, and we'll talk about it uh, during the course. At that time, I began to work in higher education. Um, I was teaching as an adjunct instructor in the areas of the history and culture of drug abuse. That led uh, to further graduate study uh, in sociology at this time. Now, uh, in the past 20 years, I've been the administrator of the National Football League Substance Abuse Program, obviously a unique treatment program with a very unique population. Many aspects of it are no different than any other treatment program, but it does continue to give me the opportunity to remain current, current uh, with the data on the use of uh, psychoactive substances by young adults, um, as well as other age groups and, and, uh, and women. Our knowledge of addiction has increased dramatically over the last few decades, uh, and treatment, moda modology, treatment methodologies um, are becoming more fine-tuned as we learn more about the physiological aspects of substance abuse and as attitudes about substance abuse change. The attitude of the general public uh, has improved in terms of a greater understanding of the uh, difficulties and complex uh, complexities of addiction, but we still encounter prejudice and misunderstanding in the general public, and even, uh, unfortunately, in the helping professions themselves, um, and misunderstandings of how difficult it may be for any one individual to uh, stop or to manage their substance use. So my goal in teaching about addictions is to eliminate some of those misunderstandings, myths, misconceptions, and prejudices. Um, I want to make sure that uh, any clinicians that I'm able to work with enter the field of addictions with a clear understanding of addiction, the complexity of it, and absent any of these uh, misconceptions or prejudices that, that too often go along with addiction, that don't go along with other diseases. So there's no simple answer. Um, this is a very complex uh, sociocultural, uh, physiological, and psychological phenomenon. And it takes a great deal of unpacking in discussing it to really come to understand it and learn how best to respond to it. So I look forward to you possibly uh, engaging with me uh, in our course. Take care.